All right, what's up everyone? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I navigate um, my cockpits here um, with a programmed left and right click on my joystick. Um, first thing you wanna do, obviously, is set that up. So you're gonna go into your controls, go down to the UI layer, and then you got your left click, your mouse scrolling, and your right click. Also, uh, being in VR, if you haven't done it already, you're going to want to go into your VR settings and make sure you have used mouse selected so that way it's not locked right to the center. Um, real big benefits of doing this is it's a lot easier to click through the, the cockpit without having to reach for your mouse. I don't ever have to reach for my keyboard. Pretty much can do everything just with my hands on my HOTAS. Um, as you notice, as I'm looking around, the, the little blue cross is gone, but every single time I bump my programmed button, it pops up. The cool thing is it's going to pop up where I'm looking next. So when it disappears, I look down here, pops up. Look at that. I had it right on the switch. It's because of where I have it programmed. I usually will try to sit straight and put it somewhere like where my eyes normally like to look. You know, somewhere in the middle. Right, I'm going to show you how easy it is to start this thing up with the programming it, or with the left and right click. Just makes it so much easier to be able to click things quickly, entering in coordinates and things like that. I don't have to reach for the keyboard or the mouse to do it. Just simply punch and go. It's really nice, especially when you're if you're an A10 flyer like I am, uh, JTAC coordinates, uh, all that stuff. I don't have to reach for. Uh, I used to have like my keyboard on my lab, reaching down, typing things in, and now I can just simply reach down, type it in right there on the CDU or up there in front, uh, programming all my weapon systems, release, all that stuff, it's all just done here for me. Now this button on the Thrustmaster Warthog is normally my countermeasure switch in the in most aircraft, especially in the A-10. But down here your countermeasures panel, I can I can actually just program, have shaft and flare, whatever program I want, but my release is just simply pushing down on the stick, or you can program another button. Whatever works best for you. This video is simply just to show you how easy it is and how nice it is to navigate uh, navigate your aircraft by programming a left and right click on a joystick button. It makes everything so much nicer. So much nicer. Well. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful and gave you other ideas on how to navigate in VR.